wonderful good Sunday evening, y'all. Come on in. It's time to cook some Sunday dinner. And I'm just going to go ahead and let you know right now, the flavor train is not rolling today. But Kareem and I still got to eat. I think everybody was just tired. We were out all day. We was tired. And I was out all day yesterday. Um, over in the next town, about an hour or so away. So, kind of tired. But I'm just going to do a little bit of something for Kareem and I. So, y'all know. I'm going to share it with you. So, what I'm doing here today is going to be some, um, I'm going to do just a quick broccoli casserole and fry some fish. And then I'm going to boil some um, corn on the cob. So, here we go. I've got a one pound bag of chopped broccoli. It's food line brand. So, I'll put it right in here. Chopped broccoli. So, I hope y'all are having a good list. Sunday. It's been just laid back and do nothing for me today. I tell you the truth. Sometimes you just get tired. And I've had a busy week doing a lot of different things. So I thought I'll just cook something for Kareem. And I, I almost uh, told Kareem to order something out. And I was going to eat a salad. But I thought, man, nah, got to have some food. And this, and then tomorrow, I'm going to take it easy again. We'll have leftovers, y'all. So what I just put in that was one of those uh, chicken bouillon cubes to help season up my um, broccoli. It's frozen, so I'm making it the quick way today. I'll just mix it all in. And, you know, this is um, one of those dishes you can put together so many different ways. This is chocolate. Oh, you, you know, you can use the broccoli florets, but this just happens to be chopped broccoli. Okay, I've got... Um, four eggs and a cup and a half of cream in here. I'm just going to go ahead and pour it right in there. And I went ahead and seasoned it with my um, complete seasoning. And y'all know I always put Alfredo sauce in there. I've got about a cup of Alfredo sauce that I'm going to put in there. But I got to get something to get it out of the jar. Okay. I don't know where my spatula has gotten off to, but not to worry. I'm going to take this case case knife. If my mom can hear my mom saying that. Get that case knife over there, Peggy. We can use that. So this is about a, a good uh, cup of Alfredo sauce. thought I didn't have any. Um, so what are y'all eating for dinner today? Or what are you preparing to eat for dinner today? I love uh, white and fish. We grew up on white and fish. So I decided that would be something quick and easy to prepare. So here we go. Oops. Put that down there. Okay. So got. Mm. And all you got to do with this here mix that all up together. Mix, 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 and I'm also going to pour, this is about a half a cup of butter, and I'm going to put just about a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder in there, and the same thing on, um, well, I'll put a whole teaspoon of onion powder in there. Just gonna do a complete teaspoon of onion powder. Okay. Now, just gonna mix this up really, really good, and then I'll go ahead and add the cheese. And basically, that's it. I was gonna do breadcrumbs. How can I be without breadcrumbs? You say? I forgot to order. In fact, I got a food order in today, but I just did not order the breadcrumbs. Now, that's going to be some good eating. Y'all know that. You just can't beat a good old broccoli salad. This is a pound of white cheddar cheese. So, it'll be nice and cheesy. Okay. I'll save a little bit to put on top of there. And we're going to cook this for probably about 40 minutes, I think, will do it. Let me go ahead and set my oven up for 350. I'm 
I hope and pray that you all have been um, enjoying this weather. Well, I'm hoping that you're having some of this pretty weather. I'm telling you, North Carolina, we went um, out yesterday. We had to go do some things with Kareem yesterday, and we were up in Raleigh. And I'm trying to tell you, honey, there were so many people out and about yesterday. I thought you would have thought, what in the world? But you know, Raleigh is a college town. So, you know, they have a, sure, a lot of uh, students. But we were out and about, honey. I had to, sh ooh, we, we were probably out maybe an hour and a half. Because when I go out like that, I don't go, I don't stay long. I go right where I'm going, get it done, and get out. But there were so many, it was, it, it was good, you know. To see folks out and about. But I'm here to tell you, there was some folk out yesterday, but then I thought about it too. It's spring break time as well. So that, that accounted for some of the people out. So it was a great day. It was good to see all that sunshine. Okay. Let me do one other thing. Hold on. I'm going to drop about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt in there because y'all know I can't have the salt but it just did need a little bit of salt in there so about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt just to pull it together I'm going to find my baking dish over there yeah this will be yummy y'all so, I'm going to go ahead and find a baking dish, put it in there, and I'm going to put it in the oven, like I say, and bake it for about 40 minutes, and I'll be right back. Okay, it is ready to go into the oven. Like I say, I'm going to cook it about, about 35, 40 minutes is all it's going to take, so we can cook that broccoli. Um, that cheese melt will melt in there. I might have to make me some breadcrumbs. I do want breadcrumbs on top of here. But I don't have any, but I may have to try to make a few. Okay? So, this is getting ready to go into the oven. Then we'll get over there and fry the fish. And, of course, all we got to do to the corn is just boil it. So, we'll be back in a sec. Okay, I found some uh, wafer crackers to make a uh, topping for my casserole. So, what I did was I just crumbled up some uh, captain's wafers, sprinkled a little garlic powder, onion powder, and some olive oil so i'm just going to sprinkle them right on top there this is about 10 crackers that was all luckily i had 10 so i think it'll pretty much it'll cover it good enough not a thick coating but it'll, it'll be enough on there to give it that little extra oomph that i wanted with the breadcrumbs note to self order some breadcrumbs okay so now that's ready now to go on into the oven. At 375. So here it goes. Okay, y'all. The uh, broccoli casserole is out. The corn is back there. It's done. And I'm getting ready to drop this fish. And we'll be ready to eat here in about 15 minutes to fry all the fish. Okay, this is uh, whiting fillets. I think my oil is hot enough, I hope. Oh yeah, plenty hot. Uh, I'm using Moss's Seafood Breader. And these are whiting fillets from Food Lion. I kind of sort of had them uh, sitting in the uh, breader for a little while while I cook the other food. This is one of those dinners that almost seem like a weekday meal, but honey, we're going to treat it just like Sunday dinner. I uh, hope y'all got something good on the stove for your dinner. So we're going to get these fish in there. You have to find about, about four minutes on each side, and then we'll be ready to flip them over, and shortly they'll all be done, so we'll be right back and let these go ahead and continue to cook. We'll be back uh, just as soon as they cook now oh i did put some um complete season on this fish now the seafood breader is already 
seasoned and has uh, a certain amount of salt, so you don't have to put any salt, any extra salt in there. Just put the breader on there. And then the complete season. So we'll be right back, y'all. Hold on. Okay, y'all. Everything is ready. Piping hot fish just out of the grease. Good old sweet buttery corn back there. Of course, you know we got the tartar sauce and the Texas Pete and broccoli casserole. We are getting ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy this meal. Thank y'all for stopping by. Thank y'all for your prayers, encouragement, and compliments. So continue to pray without ceasing. Go ahead and resolve those unresolved, those uh, issues that you got in your life. To free yourself up. Pray without ceasing and do something kind for someone. Until I cook again, y'all. Love you. Toodaloo.